What's up, Chia fans? Everybody says, oh my god, 1317. It's not the lowest it's been, but it's still pretty friggin' low. So do we keep going or do we just stop? That's really the question here. And uh, I'm lucky all this hardware I have, I managed to buy and pay off when Chia was worth, I think, 40 I sold. So it was a decent amount of payout. I paid off all the hardware, so I'm hardware neutral now. But now let's check and see if my electricity is even worth running all this, because this is a lot of drives. It's two petabytes of uh, Chia farming. Uh, is it worth running anymore, even though I'm not paying for any hardware? So I'm going to look at the electricity, I'm going to look at the price, I'm going to look like what I get per day and see, should I leave it on or turn it off? And hopefully it helps you do some calculations of your own if you're in a similar situation. But I think it looks pretty, so I kind of want to leave it on anyway just for that. So the first thing I'm going to do is get electricity cost. We're going to do that with the UPS here. This monitors output to my farmer machine. And the one you want to look for is the top number and the bottom number because Chia every three, four seconds is going to ask for plots. That's when you get your high number. We're going to average that out. You see 547 is my max so far. 476 is the idle. If we keep watching, it's going to change. So you want to get the top and bottom. 549 top and then 470 idles. So we'll go with those numbers for this machine. Moving on to the Gigahorse, this has less drives, higher compression. It's almost consistently at 333 uh, idle. And then you can see it bumps up to, looks like 423 for our maximum. It's going to stay at 333. We'll see if we hit another higher one at this point or not. But I don't think, I think 423 is about the max we're going to hit. All right, let's see how much this rig costs. The first one is a farmer uh, machine, and this one runs the CNI C5 compression. So that's going to be a lot more drives, but also a lot less compression. I did, however, add a GT1030 GPU to this. The nice thing about the GT1030 is it's 40 bucks, So not a huge investment, but it does take a lot of time off the CPU, which would probably struggle to keep up with this much C5 plots. So right off the bat, we got the 1030 GT GPU. Got the MS7B86 motherboard. Uh, we also got the Ryzen 7 5700G, which I like because this has integrated GPU. So while this one has its own discrete GPU, there's an integrated one in this machine and the Gigahorse that's feeding that C7 compression on the other machine. So I have that machine remote in here. Use the iGPU on this machine and the iGPU on that machine. Between the two of them, they can handle the C7 compression. A lot less plots on that machine, but higher compression. Surprisingly, this has no struggle with that, so that saves some money. We also got the 32 gigs of memory here, uh, and then we have, um, I think, plots total is, yeah, we got 13 120 plots. So those 13,000 plots are compressed to 1.2 petabyte, which is pretty decent. And that is across, uh, let's see how many drives you got here. The problem with this machine is most of them are 18 terabyte uh, Exos X18 drives, but a lot of these are older 10 terabytes. So we're going to try and get an average on these. Uh, the 18 terabytes I wound up paying 175 for each because I got a lot of good deals on those. So we might round down a little bit just because a lot of these drives are a little bit smaller. Yeah, we got 12 gig here. The system drive is a terabyte. That's an NVMe drive. So that one NVMe drive was, I think, 30 or $40 for the terabyte because NVMe drives were super cheap uh, when I got this. Uh, and then we keep going down another, this is the 8 terabyte. This one's... I have this one old just because it is so, uh, yeah, this is, no, this is the game drive hub. Sorry, this is my super old one. I think that's the, um, where did it go? Oh, here we go. This is my oldest and crappiest drive I own. It's been around forever. So I just keep this one on here just because it's my oldest drive. But this one's, I wouldn't even say costs more than $80. So if we were to average all these out, we've got a total of... This machine has a lot because of the USB stuff. We have to add the USB cost together too because I have USB adapters for a lot of the drives. Uh, but we've got 70 minus the system drive. So 69 drives total on here. Uh, we'll get the average on that one. This is again the farmer system. So this is just one and that because a lot of these drives are smaller and because it's a lower compression, I'm only getting 1.2 petabyte out of this system. All right, so now we're on the Gigahorse system. Again, uh, MS7014 motherboard, same Ryzen 7 5700G. It's using the GPU of this CPU and the other GP iGPU uh, to farm these C7 plots. So no um, discrete GPU on this system. I do have a single SATA card here, plus I think I got a smaller one here. So actually two SATA cards, plus all the USB stuff we're going to add. 
This one's 11,100 plots, and this is a petabyte. Again, higher compression, but less drives. The nice thing about this machine is it's almost entirely my 18 terabyte uh, X18 Exos drives. You can see some of these are different branding. I keep up the firmware just for fun, so I got different firmware on here and everything. But in the end, it winds up being, uh, oh, we got one system drive here. That's terabyte. That's another $30, $40. Uh, I'll get the price on that one. So that's the system drive. That's NVMe. You want that, so the database for Chia is pretty quick. Uh, then we come down here, we've got 50 minus the system drive. So there's 49 drives on this one and they're almost exclusively the 18 terabyte, uh, X 18. So this one's a little bit easier to add the price together on. And now we have the final numbers on the hardware cost, 21,434. Fortunately, I sold Chia back when it was worth something. So I managed to recoup all this and then some, so I am net positive income for hardware. Uh, but that doesn't mean that the current price of Chia can support this to run just based on the electricity alone. So I do have solar panels supplementing my power, but I'm going to go ahead and disregard those for this just for ease. And we'll see if uh, the current price of Chia can handle my current electricity load or if I should just shut it down. All right, so we got the peak and idle watts from earlier. Uh, I went ahead and created something called the adjusted four second watts. That's proprietary calculation. You have to pay me a uh, percentage every time you use that calculation. But essentially what it breaks down to is I do one second of peak and three seconds of idle because every four seconds is when you get a call for a plot. Using that calculation, we end up with our average of uh, 0.495 and 0.345 kilowatt hours. This is... Um, per machine. Uh, so that winds up being 32 a month and 46 a month. Add those together, you got 7, 8 a month. So to run the farmer on the wall, not including any kind of solar offset that I get for my solar panels is going to be 78 a month. So now that we know how much per month I need to run this thing, let's see how much I get from Chia. So from my report from my Chia pool, I have a 30 day summary here and it says I make 13.6 Chia per month. And we calculate that out to 182, but for some reason you can see the gig horse fees of 334. I didn't get those, those were paid to Mad Max. So we'll say 178 a month currently at the 13, whatever it is, price of Chia right now. So for our last slide, we finally have the full breakdown here. Right now it's 1317 for Chia, that pays me 179, uh, costs 78 monthly. So I'm making at least $100 a month just by running this thing. So it makes sense to keep it up and running. And then I find later on that if the Chia price drops to six or below, that's my break even. That means that I'll have, uh, it'll cost exactly as much as I'm making. So at that point I will just shut the system down. Or if I still think it looks pretty, I'll keep it running. Cause honestly, I think it looks pretty good. All of these numbers ignore the solar offset, so in reality, I'm probably making a lot more money. Well, not a lot more. I'm making a significant amount more money than I have listed here, but hopefully this is useful. You can figure out using my um, proprietary uh, three-second, one-second calculation to get your averages. Uh, it seemed to work well for me, so I guess the Chi on the wall keeps on running. I'll uh, update if that changes.